I'm sorry. <laughs> it hurts. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll live, I think. Okay, now that we're four minutes late. Hi, hi, hi. <sighs> Hello, my hair's getting here. Just getting long. Hi, guys. Hello. Sorry, four minutes late. We a little had, late. We uh, had technical difficulties. Yes. Again, but <laughs> different kinds of technical difficulties this time. So, Happy Saturday. Uh, yes, I guess. Yay. They're informing everybody. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to smash your toe. Amber I set the chair down toe. on my toe. <laughs> That's to why we're fast. late. Not, no, that's part of the reason we're late. Yeah, so. And we're trying to get everything together. Hi, right. Paul. So anyway. So are we streaming? Can you? Yeah, guys? we're live. We've got two people watching. Okay. Can you guys, guys hear us and everything? Oh, good morning. Who is it? Let's I see. don't know because it's cutting it off partially because my thing is stupid. We have a weird... Let yeah. So, good morning, whoever that is. I can't get rid of that box for some reason. I don't know why it doesn't do that. Yeah. So, anyway, live chat. Hello. Hello. Good morning to whoever said hello. And there's three people watching now. Yeah. Happy Saturday. Yes. And we are wearing our new shirts. See? It says, got wood. It doesn't say wool. It says wood. But we are uh, settlers. This is from settlers, if anybody plays mm -hmm. settlers. From settlers of Catan. Of Catan. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. That we play it when we get together. Yes. Three people is the exact right amount to play settlers with. Four people's too many. Two is no fun. <laughs> yeah, two you never win. I don't yeah. think you can really play with two. Yeah, I so don't know. Anyway, anyway. But, oh, thanks. Thank you. Someone loves our shirts. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Welcome. I showed. We showed them last week. I had bought them. Amber didn't know we were going to buy them, so I'm going to move that. If you're going to keep playing with it, <laughs> so we are twinsies. Yes. Well, I remember. The twinsies nowadays is is not in. When I was in high school, um, when we'd cruise the drag at night, we were we'd always make sure we wore the same shirts, my girlfriend and I. That's yeah. so that was crazy. twinsies. Yeah, we that was just what what we did. People did back in then. It was in the time of the the Grease, <laughs> you know, Grease, the movie Grease. That was kind of we were a little bit later than that. We were in that was early 60s, but yeah, but that's yeah. Still, that's how we were. No individuality <laughs> at all. <laughs> so, anyway. So, let's, so see. let's see. Welcome. We welcome have our format welcome. today. Yep. Um, so, oh, we don't even know if you've never been here before. I'm Donna from Crystal Skies Hand Dye. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm Amber from Amber's Yarn Shop. And I'm Crystal Skies Yarn on Ravelry, which we're, we're going to figure out this weekend mm -hmm. how to use those. Mm -hmm. And because we want to have some... Some knit alongs and crochet alongs for mm -hmm. all us crochet people. But yeah, and then um I'm Crystal Skies hand dyed on Etsy. On Instagram. And Instagram. Yeah, and Instagram. Mm -hmm. And you're the same. I'm Amber Yarn Shop on Instagram, Etsy. And I do have an Amber's Yarn Shop Ravelry now. I haven't done anything yeah. with it yet. And we have a Hurley's hand dyed Ravelry too. Right. So um, but we haven't done anything yeah. with that. We just set it up. So I wonder um, if if I'm cut off. No, you're not. Box. They can see you. Okay. That's just covering what we can see. They can okay. see all of you. Because okay. I watched the playback last time when it was like that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And it's fine. So, but Let's anyway, see. so Sorry. once more people start commenting, we'll be able to read the comments. Well, we'll learn to read who they're coming. We can read the comments There we now. go. We were. Well, we see you both well. Oh, good. Oh, good. good. I'm Thank glad. you. Thank you. But anyway, so that's how who we are. This mm -hmm. is our 15th episode. So, and we've... There in the winter for a while, we weren't doing every other week. We tried a couple times, but in mm -hmm. fact, we even did some mini schemes where we we split screen. We did video calls. Right, video but calls. But now that summer's here, stupid we're doing them every other issues. weekend. Mm -hmm. So, And then in May, we're going to do a live broadcast podcast from... from Great Basin Yarn Festival in Farmington, Farmington. Utah. Yeah. Um, so. so it's going to be, it'll be more of an informal video. It won't be like, oh, this is what we have. This is what we do. It'll just be us there. So showing the different shops. And, stuff and it like may that. not be super long. Who knows? We'll, we'll see yeah. how it goes. Because we don't, we've never been to this um, fiber share. We've never been to any fiber festival. Fiber festival. Halfway. We haven't gone to any. I might have once a long time ago before right. we were doing anything like this, but yeah. And the biggest thing that I ever went to is things like that. We went to the gem fair. Oh, we it's a real big when we were deal. beading, when we were doing jewelry, when we were doing jewelry. And now I get the little notification from them every year that they're having their, their yeah. thing coming up. So anyway. Okay. Um. So what about our week? Anything you did? interesting? No, no, you didn't. That, that was, was two last weeks week. ago. That, I talked about that on the other live. Oh, that we did at night. Yeah. Our live at night. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm, 
Um, 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 I thought something happened this week, but um, I can't think of anything that did happen. Hello, Molly. Molly's coming to visit. She's like, what are you guys doing? Can I sit on your laps? Can I rub on the computer? <laughs> Please don't, Molly. Anyway, she's not bothering us. Though, no, so she's, she's fine. Right. Um, we had snow this week. Oh, yeah. And we woke up to about four inches of snow yesterday, but it was that. It was wet snow. snow. Yeah. So I, I used my arm. It was like 40 something degrees outside. So I used my arm to get it off my mm -hmm. thing. And by the time my car was packed and I was ready to drive here, the roads were all oh. dry. But I guess they had a six car um, accident like at 730 on our freeway. So mm -hmm. because people are crazy. They get this random snow and they think they can still drive like they do when it's dry streets. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. We, it, it here Thursday afternoon, I was doing my route and it was kind of sprinkling. And then all of a sudden I realized it was snowing. And by the time I got my bus back to the bus barn, it was like a blizzard. Oh, so it, got, it was snowing so much. And then you guys got that same snow the next the morning. Next, yeah. So for the evening. But. Yeah. So that was kind of crazy. That was a little scary. Um, I mean, it's April, it's spring. <laughs> right. And but, it was cold. My kids were complaining about how cold it was outside. Yeah, and just recess. the day before, which yours was Thursday. So on Wednesday, it got up to 70 degrees. Mm -hmm. in, and on Tuesday, we got like 65 degrees. And then just two days, it was back mm -hmm. into the 30s and 40s. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but now it's nice. It's supposed to be really nice here today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And Well, it's supposed to. I just got a notification that it's supposed to start raining oh. in a few minutes. Oh. Mm -hmm. I guess it could, yeah. Starting around 11.17, it says. <laughs> Um, oh, 16 minutes. and it will be like anyway, so. anyway so yeah so i mean other than that this yeah. week was not no nah, yeah i'm really nothing nothing big mm -mm. that i mm -hmm. can even think of we start isats or we try to start isats which are the idaho state assessment test i think is what it stands for mm -hmm. they tried to start it on wednesday and the computers uh lost all the students names um <laughs> thursday morning some of the high schoolers were supposed to do some and the middle schoolers middle schoolers were supposed to start in the morning finally in the afternoon they called them over to start and like nine tenths of their computers wouldn't load the test so they kept their computers and they didn't take tests so hopefully this week so they will actually do their testing um i mean not that i like kids being taken out of my class but we just want to get done yeah because i mean it takes a lot of time they set aside three separate days for each grade Oh, because yeah. there's two math tests and one English test, I think, or two English tests and one, one math, math test, test, one of those things, something yeah. like that. So, well, yeah, it's they, they set aside two full weeks to do this. Yeah, we didn't have anything like that. It, we had it in high school, the last week of school. You we had finals, this. right? No, we did the test. Oh, we did to ITBS. Tell, to tell what we were doing mm -hmm. the next year. And then the big thing was when you were a senior, you... You took that big thing. What's it called? Oh, like the SAT? Yeah, the oh, SAT. Yeah, our juniors take that. Yeah, the state of Idaho pays for all juniors to take that their junior year. And ours was free. They did it right at the college we went to. The college and they did them there. But you had to sign up, and I, but I don't think it cost any money. I remember when I took the SAT, it was like seventy dollars yeah. in high school. Yeah, it, it, yeah. They started charging. Oh, <laughs> Christiana, I missed one live this morning. Yeah, we just barely started because we started late. So welcome. Oh, yay! Yay. Yeah, so and we'll be on about an hour mm -hmm. probably, but but <laughs> we don't have any finished objects, so there you go. No. Well, yeah, not mm -hmm. really. Yeah, uh -huh. so what's our next little thing on? Well, the... next is what are we giving away? Oh. Talk about what are we giving away for this video? Oh, did I bring my stuff? Did for... you bring in the stuff for? Oh, I didn't bring it. Okay, that's okay. So if you watched last time, you know that we're giving away some minis in this video. We have picked our winner. We went on, we'll tell who that winner was at the end. Um, but what we're going to give away from this podcast is actually a yarn cozy. Um, and it is one of our fall lead ones. I know that it's not fall anymore, but this is such a beautiful one. And it's got like gold foil on it. So thought I'm gonna throw it in here. <laughs> for this video to enter to win this cozy, okay. uh, you need to be a subscriber. Um, so if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, make sure that you subscribe and um, leave a comment and leave a comment on the video. Um, there will probably ask you questions throughout. You can leave a, an answer to a question. You can ask us any questions um, and just make sure that you go on and leave a comment after the video posts. OK, because the live chat, even though we can see it and we have access to it, it's not it doesn't pick winners into, from there. No. It's a, the random comment picker doesn't post them from there. So make sure. Oh, thank you, Rena. Yes. Uh, make sure you leave a comment after. You can kind of see the the gold, the gold reflecting off the light. It has. It's all outlined yes. in the gold. So 
So it is really pretty. <laughs> we use our cozies for almost everything too, Renna. Um, how many do we decide you're, we're using each? I'm using um, them right now. <laughs> 10 or 11 of them i'm using yeah probably eight to ten of them yeah yeah just depending on how many what projects i have going my big project i'm not because my scheme is too big but yeah these are these are amazing they really work great so so yeah so it's a pretty fall one and it's got green inside and it's kind of a green it's like a green leafy look almost yeah. like marble almost green marble oh. so that's what's inside oh should i show that by the way when we do our finished project should i show those little things i was been making this week should i grab those that I was making when you came yesterday. What were you making? Did I microwave or put in the thing? Oh, if you want, I'll I don't care. Later. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about that. Yeah. So anyway. Anyway, so that's what we're giving away in this week's pod podcast. And the lady that's. We'll, we'll, we'll announce our winner later. Yeah, we'll announce our later, winner later. And then I'll mm -hmm. tell you what you're getting. Yes. <laughs> My bad. Yes. I, yes. I, I, I bought, bought, I bagged them up and everything. And I thought I'd throw them in that bag, but no. Well, you have to travel sometimes. Yeah. You oh. to bring stuff. I mean, my whole back seat was full, and I'm only here for two nights. So it's like, mm -hmm. anyway. Yes. But, um, so that's that. That's so what's that. our next little Works thing? Works in progress is what we have next. Okay, I have lots of whips. Well, I have lots. one. I have funny whips. I'm going to show my weird whips first. Your weird whips. Well, they're weird whips because... They're the ones you've been working on forever? Those weird whips? Yeah. If you were with me. You guys all saw the whips I was making with my my child that I was making with my Annie song. Well, I you kept cutting up. I took it apart again. Okay. So, and I made it into littler balls yet. So I'm going to do 25, 25, 25. So it'll be with my alchemy. You have two in here. My Annie song. Oh, okay. Yep, they both said. Mm -hmm. And then a solid gray I made to go with it. So that's my the gray my or purple. Purple, I'm sorry. <laughs> purple. And, and I want to tell you, this is purple. It looks blue on the video. It's a purple, but purple. But it is purple. I wonder if we can move it closer. I am having so much trouble with taking pictures of my purple. This oh, is no. a royal purple. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's hard to see it, but. Maybe against the bag? No, it's just, maybe it's just our diffuse lighting right yeah. now. Yeah. lighting outside. But anyway, that's that's my defrogged show. And I've done this. frogged. My frogged. Three times. Yeah, so if you guys have been watching yourself. us for a while, you knew Mom has been so working on this show yarn forever. <laughs> that I'm using there. Thank you, Pamela. But she loves our shirts. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. So I'll just shove these back into my bigger bag. <laughs> <laughs> and work on more. And work, work on, on more. more. I'll show you the thing I'm really working on, my last thing. So how many I do you have? have one. Okay, progress. that's that. Then I have the one I've been working on, another one that I have been working on. Oh, I did bring my dishcloth. Oh, you did. Yeah, she's still working on dishcloth. So am I. So I'm not going to show you because I've been working on them forever for the Yarn Hoarder Dishcloth Challenge. Okay. This is the one that you guys have seen forever. And I mean, it's another one. And it's the one that's really, really striped and stuff. But I don't think I've even added one more layer on it because... And yeah. I only have like one more. But that's that one. What lighting it do we use? Well, we have a window. And we have two stand lights that are not, they're not like stage lighting. Or I wonder not. if we shut that and just use the lighting. Yeah, we could try it. We'll try that. It's just so. But purple just. Purple's hard to pick up. And we don't have, we need to get some big ring lights eventually, but we don't have them yet. I don't know if that's going to help at all. I mean, our blue looks nice. Same yeah, color. but the purple looked blue too. Yeah. So. Anyway, that's okay. Yeah, it's just, it might just be my camera too. Yeah. Or my so, computer. Did it look purple to you guys or did it look blue when we showed that yarn? I think it looks, it's pretty accurate what we can see here is what they can see color okay. wise, depending on their computer. So, but I'll let you show you that. Okay. I only have the one left. So, and to show you, get some daylight bulbs. Okay. Well, I was, I was, we were using daylight. Yeah. But, eh. okay. So, this is, I got this magazine. Which is, which is Easy Shawls to Knit, is what it's called. Um, the Best of Knit symbol, and I got it at our Barnes & Noble, and I found a shawl pattern in here for my shawl in a ball, which I got in Fiber Share. So, I have been working on this shawl for about a week and a half now. I started it after our last video. Um, and, and this is knitted. It is knitted, um, and it is, it's called a right triangle shawl. So and it's got lace and welt. And it is blue. And mm -hmm. blue. Yeah, you can see Although the blue Although this is gray. 
No, that's blue. <coughs> that's oh, I guess that's it blue. It's all blues. But all different um, blues. So it's half welt pattern, half Which lace is- pattern. And the lace pattern is going to be longer because it's a right triangle shawl. But yeah, so I've been working on that and I'm almost done. I thought I might be able to finish it last night, but I just couldn't knit anymore. <laughs> and then, as you all know, I bought some yarn from Sweet Horse Designs, some cotton yarn. Mm-hmm. And I have been working on this. I only have two more 50 gram skeins to go, but this is the three that I put together. And can so, you see sorry, I was trying to put mine away still. The difference down here, it kind of gradually goes into this is a different colorway than this one. And then this one. And so I'm going to that. And then remember? For the shawls? For the shawls. Oh, we found it on Ravelry. Um, this, posted it back in a previous video. Yeah, it's a free pattern. Mm-hmm. And it's really easy. Once you get going, and we're counters. So once you get going, though, you don't have to count. Just at the very end, you just do three yeah. in each hole. And that's what makes it longer. So that's our whips. And, and our finished, unfinished oh, project. Oh, wait. Wait, let me go get my things to show, my finished projects. Oh, okay. I'm going to show those. Oh, oh yeah. She has a something she's been working on. Uh, something a little different from, from her. And I don't know. Are you going to sell these or give them away? No, I'm going to ask if anyone would buy them. I, oh. I don't know. I mean, I like them for me. But um, if you've watched my route, or not my Ravelry, <laughs> my Instagram, you'll see I posted some of these this week. Um, but I started making some polymer stitch markers. And these ones, like these macaroons, are not, to me, they're not super cute. They're okay, but they're hard to see them. Um, I have three different macaron, macarons, not macaroons. Macaroons are different. I've learned that. Yeah. One has coconut in them. That's the macaroon, and then sometimes they're dipped in chocolate. So I've got macaroons, um, or macarons, I said it again. And a cheeseburger. I made a cheeseburger. It's really cute. Which is so cute. Isn't that cute? I love the cheeseburger. Um, and... A really ugly cookie. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to show that. You can show the stars. I will. But I want to show my watermelon because I think oh. the watermelon is adorable too. A little watermelon with a cute little face. Everything macaroons will sell online. Okay, that's good to know. So when I get better at making macarons, then <gasps> look at my taco with my little face. My little taco. That taco cute. He's so cute. And two peas in a pod. She made a lot of these. I made a lot of these. I'm going to put some faces on my so other cute. ones. <laughs> so cute. Um, and my star. Some of these have faces. Some don't because some I could fit them on. A little yellow star. Um, and a sugar cookie. A little sugar cookie with a face. Um, and pink frosted donut. This one doesn't have a face, but it's still really cute. Um, so I'm, I'm getting better at the polymer. Some of you have re- may have received some uh, wonky uh, polymer clay charms from me in the past, but I'm better now. Um, that's a graham cracker. And then I have a chocolate bar Let's and a marshmallow. See. Well, because the foods are cute. Mm-hmm. They kind of go together for s'mores, like a s'mores kit. And I made a glow in the dark moon. And you can't obviously can't see that it glows in the dark now, but it's got little craters on it. And my little toasts. Made some toast with the most. And they're shiny. And then yeah, those ones I have. Where's your toast with the jam on it? I'm gonna show that one. Oh. But it doesn't have a it doesn't have a, a hook on it yet. Oh. But I made some toast with like grape jelly on it. A big stack of grape jelly that needs to be lacquered too on the outside to seal it. Um, and then I've got a couple more of the peas in the pod. But and then a really ugly cupcake really ugly <laughs> but i made it and that's what matters right that's so right. yeah and then oh my little chocolate bar this actually chocolate bar was bigger it snapped in half because oh. i made it thin like an actual chocolate bar and scored it <laughs> and i was messing with it and just snapped off like like i was trying to eat a piece of chocolate <laughs> but yeah so i made hungry. those this week yes and i like the food ones because they're cute but yeah so so that's so that's that that's my finished projects right I really don't have many yeah. We may have a shorter video this week because we don't have a lot. But we have lots of food. We do have lots of food. Mm. We do have lots of food. Anyway, <laughs> so um, next is what Oh, and then died. we have lots of what's dying, too. Mm-hmm, what died this I'm gonna week. I'm going to let you show all that stuff first. Okay. Because you did a little different. I did. So, okay. So, I did dye in my shop. I'm going to do these ones first. Okay. Um, nope, that's not the right one. So, I have... I have allergies, guys. <laughs> my eyes watered. Like, ah. I was trying to go for a certain look, and it didn't work. So I have these two that don't look the way I wanted them to, but they are, um, still they're still really pretty. 
Um, they've got like brownish, tan, and green and yellow on them. She hasn't named anything. I haven't yet. named any of these yarns yet. So there's those two with my new little bands on them. And then this one is turquoise, and it did have pink speckles, but some of them are turning purple. Um, but those are those two. And I have something new for you guys. I made some sock sets, um, which I have never done before. And so I have, I have what, five sock sets? Mm -hmm. Five sock sets this week. No names. No names, but they will have names. Um, well, one of them, I might still call this one. That's um, Summer, Summer Sun. Sun. <laughs> Are you going to sing for us? Yeah. If you watch Parks and Rec, this is called Summer Sun. Summer Sun. Summer Sun. And yeah, if so, if you've ever watched Parks and Recreation, you would know what I'm talking about. But um, it is yellow with orange blotches and it's got a turquoise. Um, to go for toes and heels. So these are 20 gram minis. So it should be enough for heels and toes or cuffs and heels and toes, I think is enough if you do all three. Um, so I've got that one. And then I have this one, which is a bright pink. I thought I just saw a hair attached to it. Um, a bright pink with speckles of blue and orange. And it's got a blue with it um, for the toes, heels and cuffs. Did I see purple on there? No, that's the, um, the delphinium blue looks purple. When it sprinkles onto the pink, it oh. really starts looking purple. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's a certain dye color that does that. And then this one is mainly white, but it's got um, it's, uh, purple, blue, green, and yellow. Yellow in there somewhere. It's probably twisted. Probably in. twisted in. And then it's got it's more of a it's turquoise, a um, kind of a baby color. It's yeah, what, but what? what Pastels? No, pastels. They're pastels. I haven't done any pastels before, so it's a really pastel-y yeah, so one. Amber's mm. more into the brights. I do really Don't like brights. <laughs> um, and this one also, has. it's got a pink, yellow, and blue on it, and with blue cuffs to go with it as well. And then this is the last one. Like we said, they have no names yet, um, but this one is, this one is green with purple sprinkled on it, but some of the places the purple turned pink, and then it's got the turquoise with it too. I think these will be really pretty. Or socks um, and they are the super soft so you do get 100 grams of the regular one and then you get the 20 of the extra of the extra of the cuff toe and heel of the mini so there should be enough to make one pair of socks i think one pair of tall ones even because it's still 100 grams so yeah so that's my new yes thing this or two week. pairs of shorties you can make two pairs of if you don't have a huge foot but mm -hmm. i like i wear me. like I a seven a uh six and a half to seven mm -hmm. shoe and so Two, you can make two shorties mm -hmm. out of it, especially if you're using a different color for the heels, toes, and the little bit of cuff. Okay, so I finally did some dyeing this week because I wanted to get some things done. I mean, okay, last week we discussed on our podcast that I was going to go to where I... Hi, Shy Moments! Hello, welcome. <laughs> I can't remember that it's, Shy Moments is... Dawn, isn't it? Dawn, yes, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Dawn. Thanks for joining. Yes. Ooh, I got home in time. Yay. <laughs> anyway, last time on my shop, we discussed that I was going to using a drop down menu. So if you ordered <laughs> my mocking jay, it would drop down and it would show all the way to the back. But I didn't like that. I liked having separate ones. So I've gone back, it took me all week, but I've gone back to if you want mocking jay, but on the, my main menu, instead of saying all, it will tell the different weights. And if you click on that weight, it'll show what I have in it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this is a baby alpaca, and it is like a pastel. And it is, it's, this is the, I'm sorry, this is baby alpaca. This is my MCN, Merino Cashmere Nylon. And it's done in the, it's got lavender on it, uh, a blue, a pink, and a green. And I just noticed where the pink is. Mm -hmm. Can you see it's kind of got some brown? Minor because you're underneath the camera. <laughs> it's got some brown in it. Like a little brown. bit. Not a lot. It's not. almost a purplish But brown. I called this one Magical Unicorn. So mine do have names. <laughs> I have yeah. to name them. Um, well, when I might write my recipe down, mm -hmm. I name them. Well, and I did a couple of these ones when I wrote them down yesterday. And actually, I called this one Palm Paradise. This is Palm Paradise. This reminds okay. me of palm trees. But those <laughs> names might not stick. <laughs> and then, as you all know, a couple weeks ago, we mentioned DK. So I did order DK. This one is a 100% uh, Polwarth DK. So, and and we told you Polwarth is a blended sheep where it's 75% Merino crossed with a 25% Lincoln. It's a well-known uh, 
a breed out there and it's a New Zealand breed. So, and so this one is done and I call this one my Sharona and it's done in the purple, the aqua, the gold and the orange. So that's my Sharona and that's pole wars because we wanted to see the difference in the feel mm -hmm. too. And the pole wars and the 7525, they don't feel that much difference. I don't think, did you? Mm -mm. You didn't have me feel them. Oh, okay. I and was then dying. this is the, the this one. I, okay, my two pole wars on my side. I have called Excalibur, mm -hmm. and the seventy five, um, seventy five fifteen uh, DK. I've called Valiant. So, um, and this is my magical mystery tour, and it's some brights. It's got a pink, bright pink, bright blue, bright kind Red, of an orange. Yeah. orange. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I think it was orange. But anyway, that's my. Um, Magical mystery tour. Feel that. Okay. Don, are you saying that Polworth is lovely to spin? But can you feel a difference? I yeah, this is a little bit softer. Just yeah, and bit. It, it's supposed to be silkier. So I guess it is. And these are all, they're you, these DKs are made with the longer staples. So you don't get that halo. So you won't get that um, when you... Um, Knit with these, you won't get it. They're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that word I'm looking Halo. for? Halo. Yeah. No, but pill. they're not supposed to peel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't get the peeling. That must be why it's nice to spin. She said, yeah, the mix is nice to spin. Yeah. So it keeps it from getting that ha halo and peeling. Okay. So that was those two. And then I did this one. It's done in my uh, 7515. The and DK. The DK. And this one I called Utah Sunset. I pulled out some of my older names. This one has a gold in it. And it has the, the blue and then the bright pink and an orange. Okay, you keep dropping it down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. I'm terrible on these machines. <laughs> so that's my Utah Sunset. I haven't posted any of these, by the way. These will all be posted tomorrow night when I get home. Is that going to be your shop update tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. No, shop updates are Monday, Monday night. Nights. Okay, yeah. so. And then this one is called Sweet Emotions. You guys all saw this. Uh, if you watched our live on Instagram the other night. I showed mm -hmm. these. And this is a new thing I tried. And this has purple, orange, red, and blue on it. But That's after pretty. I, yeah, after after I did this and showed it the other night, it, in my eyes, it didn't have enough color. So I went back and I re-dyed both of these and put more. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. You know? That's what you do. <laughs> I have the time, see. Mm -hmm. I'm retired. So I have the time to do all this. Yeah. And then last but not least, this is a colorway I've had sitting in my color catalog for probably over a year and never made it. And so I decided to do it this time. And I call this one Poseidon. And this has a, the base is a light, light turquoise. Mm -hmm. And then I added uh, the darker turquoise on top and the purple and um, the, the darker blue, the brighter blue. So this I called Poseidon because it reminds me of water. My husband's home. Yeah, he's home already. Yeah. So that's that one. And that is. Oh, wait, I do have one, you have one more. No. No, that looks that's the same. It. That's yeah. it. I have five colorways. So, nice. well, the, the Sweet Emotions is already in there. So mm -hmm. I have four more. So I did do some dyeing. You know, it's mm -hmm. hard for a dyer to sit on her hands and not do anything. And not do anything. So, yeah. Um, Want to. Uh, oh, we're doing. Oh, we're, we'll talk about that as part of our shops. The shop update. Yeah. Okay. As part of our shop. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm okay. about to talk about some of the things that are going to be in my update this week too, or that were in my update this last week. Um. So I do have my simple notion bags. I have quite a few posted now. I'm not going to show you all these. Um. But I have quite a few different designs. If you go on my shop, you can see they're just a simple notions bag. Um. They're they're made with two layers of flannel. And they've got snaps on them to close, but so snaps, so it keeps everything mm -hmm. in. And they're good for scissors or needles or yeah. So just those. But I did do some new little canvas bags. Look at that. And the this canvas, they're they're really they stand up nice. Too. But you, they can't see heavier. that. Oh, you can't <laughs> see that. They stand up. Yeah, they'll stand yeah, they up. Yeah, they stand up too. But these are yeah, canvas mm -hmm. is just a little heavier. And, and so I've got a few. I'm just gonna put these in front of me. Okay. So you can't see that. A few different designs that I have posted this week with the canvas ones. Um, let's see those. They're fun. They all have the snaps. I don't want to monopolize your feed because a lot of you guys probably saw this on my Instagram too. 
of all these ones. So yeah. these are all canvas ones. Oops. This canvas. The butterfly in this isn't as thick of canvas. Did you notice that? No. It's a little bit thinner it's canvas, but it's still different. canvas. Yeah, it's still canvas. Um, and then I have a few shirts, too. Everyone's loving our shirts. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, they're so much fun. Yeah. They are. Hard to find cute ones that that isn't out there, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. so many people have them. Like, if I'm sitting, I'm knitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those, you know, things. So now we're going to tell? Yeah, we're going to tell. There. Yeah. Okay, we know that this April is a rough time of year for everybody, especially this week mm -hmm. when we're all, and this weekend, it's tax when week. it's tax week. So when we went to charging shipping, we had promised people that we had would have specials uh, where we do free shipping. And we started it this morning or last night at midnight. We're going to do free shipping all the way through next Friday at midnight. For all orders of thirty dollars or, or more, so um, so yes, you have to spend thirty dollars, but you will get free shipping. Free from shipping, us. right? So um, it it's just something we thought. Well, we've done it before; it won't kill us. But mm -hmm. it's just like a tax relief. I mean, and a lot of places around in Utah are offering this week that uh, no sales tax. Mm -hmm. They're they're eating the sales tax. So mm -hmm. we thought we'll eat the. Hey, we could shipping. do that too. Yeah. <laughs> Because we don't, people don't pay sales tax. tax. Unless they're, then unless they live in our state. No. If, yeah. If so I, no, no, if someone buys from me on Etsy who lives in Idaho, they pay Idaho sales tax. Oh, okay. And someone buys from you in Utah, they should be paying Utah sales tax. The system automatically does it. Well, all the sales tax that I've had charged on my site are the people that live in Washington state. But Washington I, doesn't have sales tax. Yes, it does. No, it Oregon doesn't. doesn't. Washington doesn't Washington either. has it. Yes. We used to cross the border into Portland. So we wouldn't have to pay oh. sales tax. Yeah. I, Washington has sales tax. And it was, yeah, it's like eight, nine percent. But anyway, yeah, if you live in Washington, somehow the system here is charging it on our thing. And I don't know because I don't live in Washington state. So we don't have to pay Washington state sales mm -hmm. tax. But anyway, it's just how the system is. So, but anyway, we are yeah. giving free shipping this to week. domestic free shipping. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. We can't Canada. eat international. No, it's like 14 or 15 dollars. It's the cost of the item. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So and you know, if you live international, you know it's not you cheap. Know. So, so we're sorry, but you're, anyway, you're moving the table with your foot. I know my foot got my got caught on that leg, my oh, sock. Okay. But anyway, so we will be giving shipping free shipping all week. Uh, I asked that I only have three spots left in my Harry Potter club, and I asked that well, if you join the Harry Potter club and and want the free shipping, you do have to buy something else with it, but Remember that that something else is not going to be shipped until the end of the month when the Harry Potter Club goes out. Now we so don't have to do double I'm, shipping. Yeah, I'm not going to do double shipping. So, but there's only three of you. I mean, three more spots available. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, if you're not watching this, you won't even know we're having free shipping. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is kind of a special we're we're throwing out there to the people mm -hmm. that are watching. Just kind of for the heck of it, Curly Sandide Podcast. Mm -hmm. So you guys know first. So anyway. Yes. <laughs> but you got to spend thirty dollars, Amanda. She does. I know. Does. <laughs> We're not worried about no, you. No. So anyway, so it's just yeah, something we we thought of, and we just thought because it is tight everywhere. We know I did mine in February, but you haven't even pressed the button yet. You've got them all ready to go, but you haven't. Done what are you yet. talking about? Your sales tax. I mean your tax. Oh, my taxes. Yeah, no, we haven't done that. We'll do that this weekend. Yeah. I leave tomorrow. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, um, that's just, that's yeah. just, yay, free sales tax. So yes. anyway, that's the end of that segment. Mm -hmm. What's cooking in our shop? What's dying here? Yep, that's what that is. Um, And you food and purchases is next. I mean, and okay. you already showed your purchases because you showed your crochet hook. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we've not purchased anything. No, I have, I still have yarn coming from Turkey, but it's been in the mail for mm -hmm. a month now and it's just it was shipped from turkey and it's sitting at the customs in the united states we think we, we think. think that's what it kind of says but not really <laughs> so anyway so we think so hopefully eventually i'll get that it was some cotton yarn <coughs> so otherwise we didn't really order anything this week because we're like you guys it's april mm -hmm. i have four birthdays this month i had to i have oh, yeah. three yeah four. no new wish orders this time Nothing. Nothing. Well, okay, I got some paper in, but I kind of figure you guys are probably tired of seeing my star paper because I just got some more glow in the dark star paper in. Um, <laughs> She's obsessed. A little <laughs> crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't yeah. Think I got anything else and I was going to order some more scissors, but Amber said I can't. She has like 20 pairs. 
She just keeps putting them in her cart and buying more. And so cute and so reasonable. It's a great month for birthdays is what Amanda said. Yes. Oh, by the way, Amanda, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. I saw birthday. you got some um, of that fruit on the, that looks like, what's that name of that place that sends the fruit? Robin always sends them to me. I don't know. There's lots of different places. Yeah. Anyway, the fruit. Edible arrangements. Edible arrangements. Yeah. yeah. So that's good. So. Rana said we enabled her. She placed her first order this week for Wish. Oh! <laughs> you won't be able to stop. No, you won't. I spent a lot at first. And you but... spin the, the wheel every morning to get new deals. And when you build up points, you can get more percentages off. It just it just sucks you in. It sucks you in and it keeps you going. Uh -huh. But I mean, where else can you get a dollar shipping? You know, mm -hmm. it's like. You just have to wait a month. Right. <laughs> and I ha I told Amber, I found out I this on, on one day, I put like three different scissors in my cart. And they were a dollar. And then the shipping was a dollar. Well, the next day, I didn't buy them. I was going to go in and buy them. Well, the shipping had gone up to $4 uh, and, and the scissors had gone up to two. So if you don't buy them right away when you see the dollar dollar. The prices might change. The prices can change. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. They're still a good buy. Because you really don't need more scissors. <laughs> Right, that's if, okay, if, because you don't need more scissors. And if any of you have an iPad, which we all do, or iPod, iPhone, 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 I got this Harry Potter one a couple months ago for ninety nine cents and a dollar shipping, or and a dollar I got and a this dollar. This one for and a dollar got, and a dollar. That was a purchase you got this week. Oh, I did get that this yeah, week. Yeah, so I did get a new phone case. It's sparkly. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, anyway, yeah, that's those. So <laughs> Amanda said her babysitter brought by with some yarn. Came by with some yarn for her. Oh yay! Yay! <laughs> yes, they are a keeper. Um, so yes, and then we have food. I mean, that's yeah. our next thing. Okay. So, so food. You can now, tell your story. My story. My story on the food is I didn't know. Okay. I decided to go in and buy um a box like Amber gets, where she gets one. Well, you just started. I get universal it. yums. So I just started universal and yums. And I get I signed up for snack crate. Do we need scissors to open that? Oh, yeah. I got some right over there. There. Do you see them? Up, up. There you go. Um, but first of all, I signed up for Snack Crate last Sunday, and I thought the way it sounded, they they take your money and then they don't ship out till the end of the month. Well, so in between time, I decided to go and get Mexican food for us to try, and then they shipped my Snack Crate out, and it, they shipped it in. Is this our giveaway? Oh, that's the giveaway. That mom thought she didn't bring. You put that there to show. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, what's that? Oh, and this is yours from last time I told you. Oh, okay. Can you get? So I went and I got some little Mexico goodies, Mexican, Mexican goodies, and we're gonna try a couple of these. But then we're gonna go in and get the snack crate. We'll talk about the snack crate, crate when it comes. Minute. Right. So we're gonna try some of these first. Mm. Uh, the most the cookies and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this will be fun. But I had to go to, I found a L something something market. It's almost, it's a block down from our Oriental store. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I didn't even know it was there. So this little thing. Oh, I bet that's going to taste like roses. Well, I asked her and she said no. Is it just cookie? It's a little cookie snack. It's little like this. So we will find out. If we don't like it, we have a trash can. What's it called? I don't know. Oh, oh. De La Rosa. Yeah, De La Rosa. And it is cookie. It's just kind of. It looks like gingerbread. On, oh. It just kind it, of. No, that looks like. It looks like it's like. It's like a powdered sugar stuff. With peanut butter flavored. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter. You can keep that. Oh, there's, like crunchies, there's crunchies in it, too. She likes peanut butter more than I do. Oh, that's, so that's sweet. A, that's a good one, but it's really it's sweet. De La Rosa. Then I found this. Carlos V. This is made by Ness. What does it smell like? It smells like peanuts. It smells like peanut yeah. butter. It looks skippy. This is Carla Rosa, and it, it's made by Nestles. Nestles, but it's made from Mexico. Want me to read anything yeah, on it? Upside down, I had it. Um, store in a fresh, dry place and away from odors that could contaminate it. Um, I think it's chocolate. Carlos V. Milk chocolate style bar. So we'll eat little chocolate style. So that because I had asked the, I, in the candy aisle, they had all these big bags, and so I asked the girl up front where some of their littler like bags. individual. This was a little. This little bag thing was a dollar. Oh, do I get to try it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. is it just chocolate? 
just chocolate. It tastes like Nestle's. Almost tastes like a Hershey that bar. Almost tastes like dark chocolate a little more. Mm -hmm. A little bit bitter. That is this one. Oh. Now this is Mazapan. Marzipan. Marzipan. I don't think I'm gonna want like. It's too bitter. Oh, I like it because I like dark chocolate. Yeah. But at the end, it got more bitter. Oh, mine's fine. Now this is called Marzipan Gigantic. Cubit of chocolate. It's made by that same people that made it's that first marzipan little. Marzipan gigante. Cuberto de chocolate. So if it's got marzipan in it, I'm not going to like it. You don't like marzipan? Uh-uh. It's marzipan. I don't, I mean, I, I, I've heard of marzipan, but I've never tasted marzipan. It's a real expensive stuff that you get overseas. Ooh. It almost smells peanut, peanut buttery. Probably. I wonder, is that marzipan? I wonder. Ooh, yeah. Because it seems like it's the same consistency as the other thing. Except this is chocolate coated. It is. Is it the same stuff? Mm hmm. Ooh. I don't think I like this. Very rich. Mm -hmm. I'm not a real peanut person either. And it's it almost has, like a really big peanut butter cup. But it falls it's really apart. Crumbly. Yeah. It's like, okay. Hmm. Not bad, but you guys can have probably that. not my favorite. Can I put these a place where the cats are? Ah. <laughs> Ew! Okay. They're not flat Pepsi. Then this looks like um, these are called Bimbanulas, crispy wheels, Bimbuelos, and they look like uh, pretzels, Bimban Bimbanuelos. But they're really lightweight. I mean, the package weighs nothing. Oh, oh, they're like, oh, they're like funnel cakes. Oh, oh, I smell the cinnamon. They are like a funnel cake. They're real crunchy. I like these. Oh, they're like a funnel cake. And I'll show you guys since I'm keeping these. Do a big one out. Yeah, kind of. Ah, for the good old fair and funnel cake. That was interesting, but good. And now feel how heavy this Chicky. is. Chicky. Doesn't that feel, I, I, I thought it probably was like brownie. Chocolate dipped cookies, it says. Mm. They're chocolate dipped cookies. They're heavy. It's the they're, chocolate. They're just really And they're heavy. individually wrapped inside there. Oh, so we little packages inside the big package. Oh, oh and lots of them. Mm -hmm. So we can probably, this has four cookies in it, I think. It's a little one. Okay. Mm. Oh, they're pretty good sized cookies. Maybe we should. Oh, there's just, six oh. in there. There's that's three of them. That's one. Oh, no, that's three. Let's break this in half since we're gonna have eat so much food today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the chocolate. You? No. These were the most expensive thing I bought. Well, it's got a weird aftertaste. That's a. Save for Halloween and give away as a Halloween trick or treaters. They'll be gross by then. Now this is the one that I kind of wondered about. <laughs> and uh, Amber, your face. I know. I'm sorry. I'm very. I wear my heart on my sleeve, so when I don't like something. It's very obvious. That's why she was a good actress. Mm -hmm. Okay, now these are uh, called. They're individually wrapped. Too. Right. They're called. Cajeta in. Something Cajeta else. Cajeta in Oblias. Yeah. Cajeta and Dulce Tradition. Dulce. Dulce. Dulce Tradition. I think that means a milk tradition. Anyway, we'll see what that one's like. It looks like it's a little wafer with caramel on it. <sighs> That's what it looks like. We won't need lunch. See, it looks like a wafer. Yeah. It is. It's like it a is. wafer with caramel oh, in the middle. It's one of those ones like we like. Do you want to break off part of it? Maybe. Oh, you can't oh, break it <laughs> because sure. it's caramely. Do you make it a weird face? Do you like it? Is it does it hurt? I have no taste. The wafer reminds me of oh, it's a caramel. Oh, the aftertaste I don't like. Probably made with sweetened condensed milk. That's a that's a throwaway. I don't like that. You can have them. Do you like it? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, you can take those. Okay. Home. Okay, put those on your side of the table. But they're very sweet, so I do need to drink some milk. So. And then this is Coco Roco. 
Coco. No, Roco Coco. Coco. Coconut candy. Okay. Yeah, and they the lady there took me to a section and it was all coconut candy. And if you guys remember, we don't like coconut. I don't really care for coconut. <laughs> when I was a little girl of about eight years old, I climbed up in the cupboard. And we used to have the sacks of coconut, and I ate a whole sack, and it made me so sick that I can't even really smell coconut anymore. So do we need to share this if we can figure out how to open it? 50 pieces. Oh, they look like it's dried coconut. Okay. Look at it. Does It looks like little dried pieces of coconut. It's weird. <laughs> Where did it go? And they are heavy, but they look like they're coated in chocolate. That's probably their version of almond mocha. Maybe. Now, see, I like almond mocha, but that's not got any coconut in it. I'm going to have to cut it open. Okay. With my fabric scissors that say fabric on them. Fabric only. I think they're long bars, it looks like. They are, but we can break off little pieces, I think. Maybe. Yeah, you can break that piece in half, right? Yeah. It's like hard as a rock. Oh, they are hard as a rock. These are, not, these are stuck on things. It reminds me of something. Anybody out there had one of these kind of things? It almost tastes like... I don't like it. It reminds me of something. No, it's... It's a weird. It's hard. I, yeah. yeah, it has a, a familiar. It's almost like, not plum. What's, um, yeah. like fig or, um. Yes. Yeah. Prunes. Date. Almost like dates like or prunes. prunes. Sugar. Oh, that was really hard, though. Yeah, it was real hard. But so. I bet my students will eat those. Okay. Well, we'll take I'll them. try them out. See if they don't okay. Want now. Amber gets what? Snack, whatever. I get universal yums. And I'm getting snack crate. And I, address. Oh, I got to pick the country the first time. Then they picked the countries for it. So I played it safe. You think? I went, <laughs> I chose Ireland because I thought, okay, that can't be too different from us. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, won't we? Right. See, and I haven't even opened it. This came in the mail the day before I left Thursday. Yeah. So I didn't think it was going to come till Friday. So I thought I might miss it. Oh, it's kind of made like it. Island. It's like universal yams a little. And then I bet there's stuff inside that that talks about it. Fun facts about Ireland. Well, there's the different things we get in here. Oh, Star Bar. Okay. Oh, and then they give us this little snack crate thing. Did we get the original or did we get the mini? Or I the premium? The, I got premium. No, I got... Original? I got the original. Okay. I didn't get the mini. So the original I get comes with eight. all this... And all this. Right. Eight okay, to I'm trying not cents. to show them your address. Oh. Let's do this in my lap here. Did hey, you want to show them how it came wrapped in there? Yeah. Because it was really cute. It's all it's wrapped really cute. Like so. When you open it up. Ooh, Ooh. those look good. Okay, this is going to be. Okay. okay, so let's start with what do you get first? We are going to do the. They're Tito Cheddar oh, and crap. Onion Crisps. Vintage Irish Cheddar Onion. It says, flavor. crunchy Irish potatoes are flavored with zesty vintage cheddar cheese and onion flavor. Seriously addictive. Oh, okay. we'll find out. We'll find out if they're addictive. Mm. Yeah, I could choose between Ireland, Sweden, and Hong Kong. And, of course, we've done so much Asian, Asian stuff. Oh, that's a big chip. Mm. Oh, I like it. Me too. It's really flavored. Really flavored. Brings me back to the county fair again. Yeah, county it tastes Inter. like the fair. Mm -hmm. Like the fair. It's good, and they're kind of a a fatter chip. Mm -hmm. There are potato chips, though. But they're little potatoes. You know, Ireland's known. And they're not super salty. No. They've got more I really taste the flavor. onion, though. Mm -hmm. That's what I think reminds us of the fair. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was good. Those are good. Those are good. And okay, what do you have next? Elite chocolate tea cake. Okay. Oland. These sweet cookies are topped with marshmallow and dipped in milk chocolate. Okay. 
Probably like our little eclairs that you get from Keebler. Mm -hmm. Like little things I don't like. You don't like those? I don't like marshmallow cookies. Since she doesn't like marshmallow cookies. You're going to taste it first. Mm-hmm. And that's what is it is. Is it really marshmallowy? Mm hmm We can mm. share. Good. Mm. I think it's good. Chocolate's falling everywhere. Yeah. It's a good one. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's good. Now that I've been into it, too. Hmm. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll go back and forth. Okay, now we're going to go what's uh, Tanto, Tato, Tato Worcester sauce flavored potato chips. The more so, potato chips. Tato Worcestershire crisp, deliciously crunchy potato chips flavored with savory Worcestershire sauce. Ooh, I like Worcestershire sauce. Mm -hmm. Your dad used to cook with your Chester oh, sire, time. depending on who you are. Oh, thank you, Cassandra. So we always have the cutest shirts. Thank you. Do you want me to help you? I got it. I got, I got it. it. Okay. <laughs> this time I let you. Well, they're not, I thought they might be brown colored with the Worcestershire sauce, but they're so not. That's what it looks like. Just like a, I can really smell it. It's kind of good. You can really taste the Worcester. You can eat these with dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Make hamburgers and have these. Ooh, we should do hamburgers. We need to get buns. They're really spicy. I mean, they're really a. They're really flavored. Really flavored. I can really taste the Worcestershire. Yeah, I think that's all to, that they did. Compared to our chips. Our onion chips, you can taste the onion, but those were really onion. And this is really Worcestershire. See? It's really water? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now we'll go to the other side of the box. And we will get a Cath snack bar. Cadbury sandwich snack. Smooth milk chocolate filling sandwich between two shortcake squares for the perfect biscuity snack. Biscuit. <laughs> Worcestershire still in my the taste. Yeah, it's hard going back and forth from sweet and salty. <laughs> People okay. are like, I feel a snack attack coming on. Right. Okay. Oh, so there's biscuit inside of it. Oh, and it's got chocolate inside of it, too. Isn't that kind of cute? Is that chocolate or is that caramel inside? Chocolate. Oh. It's Cadbury. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's a good one. Lots of chocolate. But I need a drink. I know. I was just going to say that. I had lots of chocolate. And it's a weird, at the end, it's a weird flavor. It's the biscuit, have, I think. Is that the biscuit? Mm -hmm. Which is other countries' version of cookies. If you didn't know that their biscuits are not like our biscuits. No, they say. That's you know, what they call cookies, basically. I think we're going to stay with the. Oh, we got two of the chocolate cakes. Oh, did we? No. Oh, is that the chocolate tea cake? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Cool. You got another one for later. Yep. Okay, so let's go with Wispa. This is another Cadbury, so I'm sure mm -hmm. it's got chocolate in it. It says, deliciously light and unique, made with a bubbly chocolate filling and wrapped Cadbury milk chocolate. Okay. And, you know, we have Cadbury in the United States, but not but these. But it's different. Not these ones, U.S. Yeah. Cadbury is different, too. The it is. chocolate different in the U.S. Chocolate. is different than other places. Right. We have different standards and everything. Yep. Almost looks like, oh. No, oh, it's like a. I'm going to eat half of it, you okay. can, because it's really chocolatey. Yeah, I'd say it almost looks like a Three Musketeers, kind of. All chocolate. Mm. Yeah. Really, really chocolate. Mm -hmm. Really, really chocolate. But good. Good. Very sweet. Sorry, the weird face is because it's very sweet. Not because it's nasty. It's not nasty. Oh, these are good. You can take a few minutes, Amanda. Too sweet? Well, almost. Almost. I feel like I can eat the whole bar in one sitting. Like if I was sitting down, like you can eat. I can eat a whole Hershey's bar in one sitting, and it's not too sweet. But I think that would be too sweet yeah, in one sitting. Just one bite. Okay, now this is called Revels. Chocolate dipped bites with a mix of surprise flavors, including raisin, orange, coffee, malt, chocolate, and toffee. Oh, almost like bar bark. Every flavored berry bean or whatever. They're Pretty bought. Yeah. Pretty bought heavy flavor beans. Same, same island. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's got that kind of top that's sticky, sticky. Okay, so let's see what I get. Okay, and let's see what I get. You probably get coffee, huh? No, I got orange. Oh, it was good. That was a good one. This tasted like an orange, like those orange sticks that you get that are dipped in chocolate. What did you get? 
Don't know. Maybe toffee. Mm. Those are good. I like yeah. them. Those are those are nice snacks for beside my bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we have. Yes, it is like a box of chocolates without the chart. Kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now this is called Crazy Face. <laughs> These bite-sized candies are filled with cola and bubblegum powder that fizzes in your mouth. Oh! So they're kind of like... See the funny-looking face? Zots. Yeah. But they feel... They feel they feel like they got chocolate on the outside. No, they... It's a soft thing. Bite-sized candies. So... Your turn. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a blue one. But they are soft. And I'm getting... That color. Mmm. It tastes like bubblegum. That's bubblegum powder. Mm-hmm. Are they bubblegum? Yeah, they're... Well, they got bubblegum powder in them. Ooh! Mmm, yes. I just got the flavoring. The fizzy. Um, it's really fizzy. Mm-hmm. It tingles. You got cola. Mm-hmm. And I got, like, a... Well, did you yeah. get a cola? I yeah. got, like, a... Blueberry or something? Mm-hmm. They're, they're kind of sour. The... The bubbly powder is kind of sour. It's soury. Mm -hmm. So but it pulls, it's good. The, pulls the sweet taste They're down. laughing at us. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That was good. Mm. Mm. Oh. Well. Zots still are very, very fizzy, and I do love Zots, but I have to be in the right mood for them. What are we down to? One, two. We have five, six, two, four, six more oh, snacks. Oh, there's another snack bar, too. Oh, there's another that? one of the biscuit ones on the back on the top. The sandwich biscuit, we already okay, did one of those. We, did so we that. got two of those. Okay. Oh, really? Did they used to be fizzier? Did Zots used to be fizzier? Well, they I don't remember them. Really fizz. They I feel like they still really do. But I mean, I've been eating them since I was little. We'll do the Galaxy Caramel Collection. Ooh, Galaxy Bars. Those are really popular. Smooth and creamy chocolate with a luscious caramel filling. Yeah. I had roommates who used to go to oh, Ireland and at uh, Friends would, would request Galaxy Bars to be brought back for them. They're almost like a, mm -hmm. um, what are those ones? That, like Caramello. Caramello, yeah. I think they're made by the same company. Cadbury makes Caramello. Caramello. Mm. 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 This is good. That's good. Mm. Has a different taste at the end. I'm going to has like a hint of coffee flavor, it feels like. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's because we had just had something really sour, though, too. Yeah. Ooh, a catch bar. Have you ever heard of that? A catch mm -mm. bar. Wait, it's not on. This is an extra. Yeah, it's not on my list. Yeah, we got an extra. They must have needed to fill up the thing. So it is on, on it. It says, what is it? Soft caramel and crispy rice in milk chocolate. Yeah, it's okay. not even on the extra. Oh, it's on the, it's on, you must have got premium. Did you get premium? Maybe. I got a lot. I don't know. Smooth and creamy caramel covered in crisp rice and coated in milk chocolate. I like the crisp rice. Mm-hmm. This is a good one. It's mm -hmm. almost like a Nestle. This is called Catch. Yeah. Nestle Crunch, but with caramel. But it's, and Rice Krispies. The mm -hmm. Nestle Crunch is with the rice. Did they have rice? Mm -hmm. Is that what those are? Mm -hmm. Chew It's Extreme Apple. These sour apple chews start out extremely tart and finish with a delightfully sweet apple flavor. So this will be fun. Oh, you have a friend that sends them to you. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah. You can uh, attest to the fact, uh, Don, that... Their chocolate is a little bit different. It's more smoothy, mm -hmm. creamy. Well, they don't they don't put as much they don't put wax in there. It's like oh, these do. come in little. Oh, they look kind of like um, they're like what airhead, not airheads. Um, what are now those? and later's. Yes, except they're Enjoying soft. Enjoying a catch bar as part of a varied, balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle is one of the little pleasures, according to their website. Oh, that's hilarious! That that's, that's according nice. to their website. Yes. Yeah, these are like now and later's. Except they're but soft. they're really soft. Yeah. Well, actually, I got some really soft now and later's last week. Or Take a bite and let me have half a year because they're supposed to be really sour. Uh, we're sure. Okay. <laughs> Chocolate food Google. Mm. Mm. No, not like a mamba. Not as soft as a mamba. But they're softer than a now and later. Mm -hmm. mm. They're good. They're a little tart. 
but they're good. Here tart. I can, yeah, mm -hmm. sour apple in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. No Ooh. lunch for us. Oh, I'd love to have a pizza for lunch. Did we already do a star? A star bar? Mm-hmm. Mm, milk chocolate wraps, a filling of rich caramel, and crushed roasted peanuts. No, we did not. Get this thing out of my mouth. Um, sorry. So I'll need one more to go after this one, guys. So you didn't get the premium, but they included one of the premium bars for you. Nice. Thank you. So a star bar looks like it's like kind of like a payday. Mm. Yeah, a lot of chocolate in the box. Lots. And it, the way it said it said they try to do five, five chocolatey or five. Five sweet and five sweet, savory. Five, yeah. But I think I we got way more. Oh, <laughs> See how soft that caramel is? It's like a, not like a payday. No, payday does have that yogurt. I mean, nougat? that nougat inside. And this is a softer, but it's good. I like this one. It's candy from the star. <laughs> and I don't really like peanuts. <laughs> Snap! I'm not expecting that. I and know. we got this one. We have another mm -hmm. one. Yep, one more. One more called the Dairy Milk. Cadbury Golden Crisp, the famous dairy milk chocolate from Cadbury, with tiny pieces of honeycomb sprinkled in each bite. That's going to be a sweet one, too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still getting rid of the last one in my mouth. Mm -hmm. It was but good. I didn't, didn't want to spit it out. Yeah. Mm-mm. That was good. But sweet. Really sweet. Okay. okay. So we now got for the very last one. It's called a golden crisp. Easy reclose packet says. <laughs> okay. Let's see. <laughs> oh, peel me. And then it closes like that. Oh, nice. So it is kind of easy. Yeah, and it's stuck back together. Look at that. Oh, good. The little squares. The little squares, guys. I'm about to sneeze, I think. The little snack. Oh, they almost look like the Nestle's Crunch. The little squares. So much peanuts in their chocolate. Look at the honeycomb. Mm-hmm. My nose is running. This is crunchy. Mm. I don't like this one. Do you? I, I do. Like I don't, sorry, okay, guys. you can have that one. Yeah. I don't like chocolate chocolate. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It wasn't bad, but not my favorite. Not as honeycomb as I thought. I think my favorite out of all of them was maybe the catch. I did like that. I that was like, good. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. And I did like both of the potato chips. Yeah, those were both good. What did I just step on? Oh. You threw away part of your chocolate and you didn't make it into the trash can. Oh, is that what happened? Did you I stepped it up? on it. Yeah, I got it. Sorry. <laughs> my, Tell me. Your guinea pig would eat that? I think we are your guinea pigs, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I know who's running. She's going to give these to her kids at, at school. So, <laughs> yes, sorry. So, Roco Coco. Okay, <laughs> that was fun. That was so, fun. with us both getting a snack, different kinds of snack things in the mail, every every, every show will we have, a different have different country. country. Yeah. It'd be funny if two times in a row we are, you know, we, we both the, the same, same country, but they all have different snacks. So yeah, anyway, this is called Snack Crate. If any of you want to try it out, mm -hmm. on uh, I just went on Google and I put in snack boxes, I think, and I bought a brought a bunch. We might be able to get referral codes for you guys for Universal Yums and Snack Crate and put them in the description. Yes, because it did say that um, I can get a referral code, but this all happened. It I got it so fast that she wasn't ready. I wasn't for ready. It. <laughs> so uh, if we get a referral code, I'll give it to Amber and she'll put it down below. So you guys can stick it in, mm -hmm. of course. But anyway, so now we can announce our winner. Now, and I, I found the pack. Mm -hmm. um, the two on the outside are from <coughs> uh, Kyla's lab, and then I stuck a mini in from me, just so it would be a little more to give. So there's a 10 gram, a 20 gram, and a 25 gram for you. So almost 75. You could probably make some cute socks out of this. Maybe because you have yeah. 25, 35, 45, 50. So some shorty. These two are cotton, right? And oh yeah, and mine is wool. Mine is wool. So mine yeah. you'll have to use to put on whatever. Mm -hmm. And you could actually even make a ditch cloth out of the other. Yeah. So our winner is, is 
Linda, Linda. Astruska. Congratulations, Linda. And you don't even have Yay. to send us your thing. I have your address at home. Yeah. I will just stick this in and get it out to you. Okay. Yes. And another thing we did want to announce our winner from two weeks ago never did contact us. So we are only giving, I think we announced this at the very beginning that if you, you have know, until the next yeah, podcast. Yeah, you have until the next podcast. Mm -hmm. So so that will go back into the pool. Right. And so in a couple of weeks, we'll give that away again. Mm -hmm. And it was the uh, cotton, which it was, was, yeah, that was really pretty too. Yeah. It was, so it was pretty. So anyway. Yeah. So, so. Yay, yay, Linda. Congrats, Linda. Yeah. How long yay. have we been on? Oh, we've been on an hour. an hour. Yeah. Yeah. But we had a half an hour of food tasting, didn't we, guys? <laughs> we did. <laughs> that I, don't, you know, I want to thank. It looks like almost everybody that joined stayed with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah. And don't forget to be in our next drawing. You have to subscribe. Mm -hmm. and, and leave a comment on this video after it's posted. Right. So uh, Janice, who just said would love to win something, make sure after this video is posted, um, give it like an hour and then come back in and leave a comment on the bottom. On the bottom. So right. that you can be so. entered to win our next. And giveaway. I don't think we really have any questions to ask them this week. Last mm -hmm. week we asked about the time. Oh, do you guys like my belly bands on my yarn? Do you like how pretty they are? Yeah, she went to that. We're going to fix me up some today, too, mm -hmm. to start to putting it. around mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they, yeah. they make the sock sets look really nice. They keep it together better. So Right, so anyway. Yeah. Amanda, this is going to be posted on Monday, by the way. <laughs> she just said, OMG, when I posted this. It'll be posted on Monday in my shop update. Um, oh, she loves be... the bands. Thank you, Rena. Um, um, this color... <laughs> I think I'm calling it summer sun. So this is, it's yellow with orange and then the turquoise for the heels and toes. It yeah, looks it's nice. Really pretty. Are, what colors are, what colors is that? Are they? <laughs> yeah. It's called summer sun. Summer sun is a, the sock set. The colorway, right? mm -hmm. yeah. And I think I might name them all uh, parks and rec names. I don't, you know, honestly, I didn't think it was going to be this pretty, but after we took it out of the dye pot, it yeah. looks so the, the orange and yellow just turned out really well. And turned I think out really a, well, turned out really nice. It's a fluorescent yellow, didn't you? Use? And it's a fluorescent orange, oh, too. So I they used are the both. Fluorescent. Ah, oh, and that, they, that's mm -hmm. the other. So, yeah. So, those of you guys who joined late, really quickly, let me just show you. I have five sock sets that are going up. Um, I also have this one. No name. No name. <laughs> I'll come up with Parks and Rec names for them. Um, I have this one. No name as well. So, just put in no name. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have a name. <laughs> You're in love. It needs to come home to you. Well, you can get it on Monday, Amanda. Since it is your birthday this month, uh, this one is pastels or pastels. If you're a uh, British, every time I watch my British girl on YouTube and she says pastels, I'm like, oh, pastels. <laughs> they have another word too they use and it just drives me nuts. Oh, schedule. One. We say schedule. Mm -hmm. They say schedule. 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 Yeah. yeah. So it's like, and then that one. So I have five sock sets that are going up on Monday. So just so you know, since some of you joined us late, don't miss out on those. Right. And I have five, four new color, five new colorways that are going mm -hmm. up. But I'm not going to show you again. And I might possibly have other sock sets that go up Monday because I did make some more minis. So I might go through and redesign some of my stuff that's on my shop as sock sets. Just so you know. Because right. I have had requests for those. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so anyway. yeah. Yay. Yay. So, so I guess that's kind of it. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Linda. <coughs> yes. Congratulations, Linda. So. Hi, welcome, that. Linda. You won. You won, Linda. You won. You won. You won. She's going, huh? She just joined. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're our winner, Linda. We're going to, uh, mom will send that out to you this week. <laughs> That's what you won. Some minis. Yay. Where do you see her thing? She said hi, right there. Oh, up there. Okay, hi. Oh, and Linda, the sweater you made out of my tree. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. I love it. It turned out way different and knitted up way different than I thought it would mm -hmm. in my mind. So that's kind of was so neat to see. Mm -hmm. So, And you're welcome for the recap, Amanda. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for sitting with us for the last hour. Yeah. Um, yep. And we will see you again in a couple weeks. Right. In a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And in the couple weeks, that won't be <coughs> alive from this no. show. Mm -hmm. in, four, in a month, it, May 11th, that weekend. We'll be we'll be live at the Fiber Fest mm -hmm. show in Farmington. Mm -hmm. So if you live in Utah, come see us. Yeah, because we'll probably stay the whole day. Uh, we have right. friends that will be setting up there. Friends, friends and, and family, family. <laughs> <laughs> that'll so. be setting up there. So we'll probably be around their booth and stuff. So it'll be just fun to mm -hmm. 
to be there. I've never, mm -hmm. like we were saying, we've never been to a fiber fest. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So we're going to try to do more of these throughout the year. Hopefully they'll have more that are closer. Yeah. I'm sure Idaho afford. must have one. Probably in Boise. Yeah. Which yeah. is how many hours from here? Four? Yeah. About. Yeah. Yeah. About. It's like eight hours from you at least. Yeah. I would come here and then yeah. we would go down because. Your friend is moving to Utah? Well, if oh. they come by May 11th, have them come see us yeah. in Farmington. Yeah, yeah. She'll love Utah. It's beautiful. It's right. And we really, we have the four seasons, but not as drastic as, you know, I'm originally from Montana and Montana has four seasons too, but they're more drastic. I mean, mm -hmm. we get below zero there. Here, I don't even know if we've ever reached zero. Well, since here we have. You guys have in Idaho. Yeah, they get they Come get to one on the East Coast. When we, <sighs> when we start making a load of money. No. <laughs> When we get bigger, we will. Yeah, we will. We'll work. We'll work we're we're talking about Rhinebeck, but you know that's October, I think. Mm -hmm. Again, October and, or November somewhere. Yeah, it was in the colder thing. But who knows? By then, um, Amber, Amber is a bus driver and she's a teacher at school, so mm -hmm. she'll have the summer to really start making a lot of things and have mm -hmm. some stuff in reserve. So <coughs> that, you know, and yeah. I'll really use my harvest break this year. Yeah. Last year, were you moving last year? Yeah, we last were moving summer, last summer, moving. and so I didn't get as much stuff done during the summer right. as I I could have, just because yeah, we had to move. It right. threw us off, and we were doing a show, which we might not do the show this summer. We did. Oh yeah, you did. We did Mary Poppins. Mary last Poppins summer. in the summer before you did um, the King and I. The King and I. Mm -hmm. And this so. summer they're doing My Fair Lady. Oh, I, I don't. Out of all the shows out there, My Fair Lady has always been the one I least liked. It just, it's just, it's long. boring. It's, and it's long. long. And it doesn't end but, like the movie did. I mean, it just kind of ends. And yeah. you're going, okay. So, so we'll see. But we, ha I mean, we have a lot of stuff we have to do this summer. So we might not do the summer show. Yeah. So. And it'll give us more time to work on our shops. For my husband's shop and my shop. Right. And thank you, whoever, everyone who visited his shop. Yes. Since we posted thank it. Thank you. He um, showed the, oh, that's right. He only showed that goblet on our hour one. He did. Do you want me to show That wasn't on a regular. Yeah. He's, no. he's, he's well, now advancing into he's making. He's going to start working on yarn bowls. Yeah. And then he might make, I kept telling him he needs to make yarn bowls. And now he has a friend um, that lives right across the street that has a lot more uh, wood um, working equipment. So he's been able to make some of this other stuff. But uh, if you watched our live on um, uh, the other night. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. You would have seen it. It's oh, at he's the shop. Find it. It's over at oh, the shop. Oh, it's at the shop. But anyway, so. is it online yet? No, he's keeping he's that keeping one. He's keeping that one. It's, it's a goblet. Perfect. It's really a nice goblet. Mm -hmm. So he, you know, learned how to make those too. So that'll be fun yeah, to see. Yeah, he's going to try to make yarn bowls. He's been looking into it. So I know you are, Amanda. We're trying. We're trying. She messaged me asking me if he did yarn bowls. He's yeah. working on it. <laughs> yeah, well, I've told him for a while that he should, but he didn't have the equipment. Now that other guys have some of the bigger equipment that he mm -hmm. can use. So. I mean, yes, the yarn cozies are nice. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. but the yarn bowls, even if you don't use it, I would like a yarn pretty. bowl just to set out. <laughs> I have They're a yarn pretty. bowl. See, and I can't use a yarn bowl because my cats can see the yarn then and they will try to eat it. Yeah. So I have to use the card cozies because it hides it, it hides more from it. them. Yeah. So. so, but if you, we were talking about yarn cozies, you can never have enough yarn cozies. Mm. I have, I'm using like what I said, like nine or 10 right now. Mm -hmm. And because none of us, well, when you're really into crocheting and knitting, you're not just working on one project. I mean, let's face it. You mm -hmm. start, you get bored, you put that away. That's your work in progress. And then you start working on another one. Although I am going to finish this cotton one. I just started working on it this week. And I'm <laughs> going to get it done. Yes, I and know, Amanda. Each serves a purpose. That's true. <laughs> That's, That's true. true. And she, Dawn said, get a yarn bowl with the lid. That's true. Yeah, That's you know, true. they do. I've seen those made where they have the lid. <laughs> yeah, darn, sure good, cats, darn good yarn makes some. Your, your cats would knock it off. They would. My cats to like to touch things. Um, and those of you who joined us late, this is the giveaway for this next for this podcast, it's by the yarn way. Cozy. It's a yarn cozy. It's one of my fall ones. Good morning, Whips on Sticks, Sticks podcast. Oh, I, I subscribed uh, to her. Oh, I like Amanda her. came in late. No, she took it apart again, Amanda. Now they're 25 oh, gram skeins. Or yes, cakes. I took the whole thing. I frogged it. I took the whole thing apart because I just didn't like how it was turning out. So I will work on that. But that's why. Oh, so you didn't get to see my new one. That Hi, I'm Kayla. Working. Hi. Welcome. This is my new one that I'm working that's on. That's okay, Amanda. Amanda. She said, sorry, sick kid. That's right. This is her see? new one. Isn't that pretty? It's all cotton. This is the cotton that I got 
a couple of weeks ago from sweet sweet cotton or sweet horse designs. Mm-hmm. It, it smells like cotton. Yeah. It feels like the blankets that you made us. Yes. And it's mm-hmm. just a softer. I know. <laughs> I know. I she think kills we, me too. I think we've all done it. Let me tell you, if you never heard my story of when I was making all the cotton blankets. We put them, that was on my first Etsy shop about five years ago. And I put them all on. And you know, to make a blanket, these were lap blankets. So they were a crib size. Mm -hmm. And so I probably had 10 skeins in them. I tried to sell them on Etsy for $25. No takers. Did not sell any of them. So a couple years later, I frogged them all and I made them all into dishcloths. Well, no, some of them were given as Christmas gifts. Oh, then I gave gifts. Yes, I did give Christmas gifts. We all got one. That's how many I had. You know, and all their spouses got one. Mm -hmm. And then the rest I had like five or six left. I just Mm -hmm. took them apart and I made them all into dishcloths because that's how I am. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. So anyway. Which is funny because you gave me a hard time because I said I might have to take my shawl apart. Well, that because you're knitting and I know knitting. I can't. You can't just go back to a certain point when you're knitting. She doesn't know how to. So. She doesn't know how to. back. I've heard some of you back it off or something. Yeah, well, I do know how to do that, but it would take a lot to do the whole thing back like that. Yeah. I would just frog it. Yeah, she thought she made a mistake, but I don't think she did. I, I think, think I did, but we'll see how it looks. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how I said, looks. even if it was, you're probably yeah. the only one that would notice that. Lifeline, that's true. You can put lifelines in, but I don't know. I've never done a lifeline before. I don't even know what you're talking you about. You basically I thread through another piece of yarn through where you want to go back to, and then you frog it to that point, oh. and you can put your needle through that. Oh, okay. Well, that's so, you can do with a needle and a mm-hmm. big needle. And, you know, the crochet, the yeah, yarn. Yeah. Needles. Yeah. You, you could that, probably but, do that. Yeah. yeah. But we'll see how it looks when I'm done. Yeah. Because I said the way it's made where it yeah. goes around, it probably. 50 whole dollars for one. I said they have more than twice that much in the yarn. I know, right? 50 whole dollars. Wow. She probably thought she was breaking the bank. She probably thought she was really doing nice stuff for you. Yeah. Well, I do know, you know, here we have what's called Deseret Industries. It's kind of like Goodwill and stuff, but it's mm-hmm. a, run by the church. And there, it's so heartbreaking. You go in and you see these blankets that mothers and grandmas have made for their kids and grandkids. They're brand new. And the pe- kids have donated them because they don't use, you know, that mm-hmm. or they have too many. And mm-hmm. there, and it's just heartbreaking. And there's, I mean, you can get them for like four dollars. And I, a couple of times, I got some ones that were cotton, and I took them apart for four dollars, and I made like ten sets of dishcloths out mm-hmm. of them. You know, so it's mm-hmm. just like it's just heartbreaking. But a lot of people just don't realize how many days and hours and weeks you have mm-hmm. made into. Mm-hmm. I was watching Yarn Hoarder Cafe, and she has two kids, and her she's making those. She's making those squares that you make where you put the four squares together, you knit them, and then you knit around them. Mm-hmm. And she told her daughter, who is 14, that she will have it done by her 16th birthday. <laughs> and she said, she's just getting her son, who turns 16 in a couple of months, done. And I thought, that's right. I mean, they take, especially if you're doing anything else or mm-hmm. if you're working. And yeah, you don't have time just to sit and that's why we like to do the dishcloths in between because they feel like they're just like that. Yeah, and you get them done. Mm-hmm. I mean, you've accomplished something, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. So, but, Dawn, by next time, I'll have started that that, that uh, <laughs> shawl again, and we'll see how we did. Oh, and thank you for everybody that sent us patterns mm-hmm. um, for crocheting and easier yes. patterns. I have looked up some of them, but Amber just laughs at me when I look up. She said, Mom, Mom doesn't know how to read patterns. I don't read patterns good, you know? I like the one we're using. I liked it because she drew out. She actually drew out the pattern and told how many to put in each one. And mm-hmm. I like that kind. I can read that kind, you know, but yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So anyway. I have to help her with those ones if she's going to do them. My other daughter, Christy, you all probably know Christy. Um, she said to me, she said, well, mom, that's how you learn to, to start making your own patterns. And I just thought to myself, oh, right, yeah, right. As if I can write down two knits or two doubles, one single, two. Du- I mean, I, I don't even know how to write the patterns. So, yeah. But anyway, well, I think we've talked yeah. a lot, a lot at the end. Yes. About it. So, and I'm glad everybody liked our sh- our shirts. Mm-hmm. And we realized they don't say "got any wool." They say "got any wood." Wood. wood. Because you ask for wood, and yes, for sheep. We have mm-hmm. sheep wood. 
stone, stone and brick and brick and cheap wood, stone, brick and wheat and wheat. Yeah. Yes. So if you've ever played Settlers, you know what we're talking about. Yeah. But it's a fun game. If you haven't played it, it's a fun one. If you have kids mm-hmm. to in- invest in because it teaches them how to think about different it teaches them strategies. How to, think. how to think about different strategies. It is a strategy game. And it's a board game. So it's a game. And you set all... up the board different every time. Every that's time. Cool. Yeah. That's what's really cool. It's yeah. a different game every single time. I think I would really like Cones of Dunshire, though. Someone's commented that they watch Parks and Rec. One of the characters created a game called Cones of Dunshire. I would buy that game if it ever was sold for real, you guys. I need to let you know that. <laughs> if you've never watched Parks and Rec, you got to find the episodes with Cones of Dunshire because it's hilarious that this one character created this game when he was laid off. Oh, did and it's about it the cones. No, oh, the cones. <laughs> the cones. Cones of Dunshire. There's like six different cones and there's like a character that's like the maverick, the wizard, like just it's hilarious. He's explaining these rules and it's so intense. It's like, and then at the end he's like, forget the whole point of the game. It's about the cones. <laughs> like, yeah, totally. If they ever sell, everyone's saying they would play it too. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. The other one that's good, and I looked for years to buy this one for them, and it's called what? Train? Ticket to Ride. Ticket to Ride. Mm-hmm. And that's another one that's fun, I guess. We play that with our across the street neighbors. So, but I never did find it. The one, oh, the it's one, not, it's everywhere now. Well, yeah, the one store morning. that I had ordered it from me, they went out of business. But you didn't prepay for it. So, no, I didn't prepay for you it. Weren't out any money, so, they but. were supposed to call me. So, mm-hmm. but anyway, but anyway. We'll have to play that one of these days. Yeah. Because you play it with four people, don't you? We'll play so it with six. So, yeah. So more people can play that yeah, one. Yeah, you can play it. You, well, you can play it. Well, if you, you got the extensions. We for, have. We play with the, with the and expansions. And you, you have the expansions. You mm-hmm. can actually. Because they're just these little, to lay out the board. They're little shuffle, tiles. They're little tiles. Well. They're, they're octagon. No, are they octagons or are they six? They're like a stop sign. No, they're six. They're so six. six. Hexagons? hexagons hexagons i was like septagons no that would be seven hexagons hexagons yeah and, yeah. Just, and then you and you shuffle them and lay them out time. yeah and so they're always different you don't have to so, play that tonight with dave yeah it's just a lot of fun it's a fun game it's, we like it we we and like i said mm-hmm. three people unless you have the extension but three people well, but we play with the expansion now with three people we play with the extra cards oh do you expansion. too oh that must go on forever then no with you that's what we're playing with the expansion stuff we're playing with the extra cards. That's why we play with the expansions. So we have more cards. Mike said that we use it. Mine doesn't have expansion. I only have the regular settlers of Catan. I don't know. That's, I don't know. That's what Dave said. We play with the expansion stuff, hmm. the extra cards and stuff you mixed in. Oh, okay. So we yeah, have more, but I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. It's so it's yeah. Fun. Maybe yeah. I'm. Oh, maybe I should name this yarn the Cones of Dunshire. Should I name this the Cones of Dunshire, Amanda? What do you think? And who else said that they watch it? Liz. Should I call this one the Cones of Dunshire? Although that Cones of Dunshire has red in it, doesn't it? Or the Maverick? Because that's one of the characters of the Cones of Dunshire. The, um, yes? Okay. This will be the Cones of Dunshire. And I have two yeah, of them. And I sp- oh. Go for it. <laughs> I've never... Well, they made me watch Parks and Recreation one time when I was here. I think we watched two episodes you don't like it as much as we do no but, but it's they, like the office you have to get past like the, the first office. season and the mm-hmm. office i couldn't get past i always felt so so he was so stupid mm-hmm. i was so embarrassed for him, the way he mm-hmm. acted because i had worked in offices all my life and oh he would have never gotten away with any of that stuff but that's <laughs> what the whole point was <laughs> how funny so maybe if i got into park of recreation i might try that again I, if, once you get past the first season it's better Right. Yeah, it the, the first season, she's really stupid. Her character is really stupid. And they kind of have, after the first season, they made her smarter. Like, the, she's really, yeah. And once you get into it, like Amanda says, after a little bit, you get into it and you start to love the characters, especially when they bring in Ben and Chris in the third season. Um, Chris is Rob Lowe. Oh. His character is hilarious. He's oh, so I positive know. and funny. And yeah, you get... You, and you start really caring about the characters and you right. get into it. Yeah. The first few episodes really are super rough. But right. that second season, it starts to take off and get less stupid. Well, this week I started watching. And if you guys live around where we live, it was kind of scary. I started watching Super Volcano. It's about Yellowstone Park blowing up. I only watched one and a half episodes because that's how much it scared me thinking about that. I mean, we'd be totally Utah, Idaho. We'd be totally wiped out. We'd be gone. Yeah. That's but okay. the whole United States would. I mean, he sends his wife to England. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
nobody knows it's going to blow. But anyway, I mean, you know, if you live around here and I was right, I lived in Montana and in the summer from the time I was about 10, we'd go to Yellowstone Park at least two to three times a summer because that was the easy, we, we had our mobile home or our pole trailer mm -hmm. and it was a fast place to go and the camping was cheap. But now I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to I'll say it before again. you've gone there before. You just didn't know what know it. <laughs> no. It's the same place. Yeah, yeah. So anyway. and yes, guys, character development. That's what makes the office work too, because the care there's character development. Uh, it change. You can see the growth of the character, and the same with Psych. Like yes. there's the chemistry, and then the characters grow and change. And I did watch all Psych. I mean, I, yeah. Well, and then we made you watch Better Off Ted. Have you, if you guys haven't watched Better Off Ted. That's hilarious too. It's all on Hulu. All two seasons or three seasons. I can't remember. That's a funny one too. Yeah. You did enjoy that. And what's didn't that you? other one you had me watch about the the guy that worked at a video store and then he became a private. I mean a, a, a spy. Oh, Chuck. Chuck. That's Chuck. funny too. That's but Chuck's funny not one. on anything anymore. Oh, isn't it? They've taken it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rena, you got to make it past about halfway through the second season. Oh, okay. For The Office. She's talking about The Office. Oh, the yeah. first six episodes are torture. <laughs> um, the Dundies is really funny, which I think is still in season one. And then season two, it's all about Pam and Jim. Once oh, you okay. start getting invested in Pam and Jim, you will... I did a psych club, Amanda. Maybe I'll do another psych line because I did a psych club. Yeah, she did yeah. the psych club. Mm -hmm. And she did the... Um, I did my very scary and I did and Supernatural. supernatural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... I'm trying to think, you know, I have the Harry Potter club going, but I'm trying to think of another club to run to because it's just, it's, it's, I like cl do clubs. Mm -hmm. I like the fun of doing all of the, the dying at one time and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and getting them out to you guys and doing the difference. So if you have any ideas that I could do a mm -hmm. club, I mean, yes, everybody's doing a Harry Potter club, but it is still popular. I'm so mm -hmm. thankful for all of you that are in my Harry Potter club. It's just fun. Amanda says they're huge psychos. Oh, because they like psych. <laughs> we love psych, and I was very sad when they took it off Netflix because that was one of the shows that we would just sit down and watch, right, um, over and over and over because it doesn't get. I, I looked. I do own the first five seasons. Okay, of psych is all. Okay, and they did what eight, seven or eight? Yeah, and then so, they did then psych they did the, the musical, movie. and then psych the movie. Psych the movie they just did in January. And I didn't last watch that. Year? I watched like the musical. Year. No, was, December of this that year. That was funny. Watch them sing. Yes. But they both can sing. Oh, Amazon so. Prime has it? Okay. We don't have that yet. We've right. talked about doing that too. So we can right. get all the other shows that we can't get anywhere else. Right, right. Go on. Might um, as well just get rid of just like cable. Uh, Doctor Who. I mean, Doctor, I had to, I went when I had the Doctor Who Club, you guys. I went and bought all 10 seasons because it wasn't on Hulu or, or Netflix That's anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even think it's on again. I think it's on Amazon now. But and that's another series that you have to get past the first season. You have to get past the first, the first, because Rose did not act logically <laughs> like the rest of us would act. So, you know, I mean, if I saw a walking mannequin coming at me, uh, I'd be out of there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. but yeah. But it was like seeing it. an old friend, Amanda. She talked about the psych movie. Oh yeah. It, yeah. Cause it had been on for years. It, yeah. But it was, it was, it was like a really long episode, but it was the same, but different. I don't know. Like it was really hard for us. Like we watched it twice. Cause it was on twice the same day. Um, and I didn't like it as much as I liked psych the musical. I liked the musical movie better that they did. Okay, let's see. Not Doctor Who, Star Wars, Star Trek, or more my speed. Okay. Okay, bye, Liz. Uh, yeah, have, thank you, Liz. Thanks for watching. Yes, thank you so much for watching. And make sure you come in later and make a, a comment on the video after it's posted so you'll right. be entered so into you'll be the new giveaway. Okay. okay. And we probably should oh. go now, too, so yeah. <laughs> Whoops, on sticks. You, like you watch Who. the musical once a week? That's oh. hilarious. I have the music on my phone. I listen to it. I love the songs. Well, Whoops, on stitches. Six. I can't remember what your first name is, uh, but yeah, Doctor Who was. She so said much her fun. name earlier, did and she? was it oh. Kylie Haley? Where did she say? Yeah, you know, we're trying to get to remember names of different people that go with this. Where were you? I know I saw you put your name. I want to say it was Kylie or Kaylee or Haley. Where is it? She's probably typing it right now while I'm looking for it. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, thanks. anyway. Thank you. I watched your podcast too. I love you. Yeah, so, oh, wait, wait, I'm wait. trying to watch more podcasts. I mean, it's not like I don't have yes. all the time in the world. So 
Kayla. Oh, Kayla. I'm so okay. close. I'm <laughs> sorry. You're so anyway. close. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I think you are a subscriber. If you're not, make sure you subscribe. And everybody likes giveaways. Yes. So. Yes, it's okay because I'm like I'm sorry. We're trying. <laughs> We're it's trying. Hard it's, to associate names sometimes. Right, and I I can know just like a church. I know everybody by Last sight. Names. Oh. No, but I don't know their names, and I oh. might have been told. I mean, my visiting teacher it took me half a year to remember her first name. <laughs> so yes, I have yes. students who ride my bus and hang out with me every recess whose names I don't know still. Yeah, so it's just and weird. they're good kids, and that's why I don't know their names because they're good kids. Right. So I never have to yell at them. Right. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. But anyway. boy, we've rambled on about a half an we hour are. now. I hope you so, all enjoyed the food. That's the funnest part of this thing for us. Mm -hmm. It's the different food. We do want to say if you have any coupons in your shops, if, you, if some of you are shop owners, or uh, just send us. Eat, if you us. want us to share them with yeah, our if, with if, our, followers, our, our followers, or any sales going on, you want us to share with people. Uh, we'll um, put it down below. It's Hurley's hand died at gmail.com. Yes. And uh, just text us there. Uh, we are always open to, if you want to send us something to give away, I mm -hmm. mean, whatever you make, even if you don't have a shop on Etsy and just mm -hmm. make things and want us to give it them away. We are more than happy to do that. It's fun. We try to do a giveaway every single Sorry, I'm laughing podcast. because Gianna said she's lucky if she remembers her own name. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, how many, I mean, as you get older and I'm old. Uh, you start getting the walk into the bedroom, which I have always done and forget what you went in there for and come out with something else. You know, <laughs> I've seen a meme on Facebook the past couple of weeks that says, I'm so good. I remember what I was doing when I walked into a room today. Well, it was the bathroom to, you know, to be honest, but at least I remembered what I was going in there for. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> But yeah, oh, so yeah. Anyway. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and we'll see you guys all in a couple of right. weeks. And watch, uh, like I said, we'll post everything down mm -hmm. below that we find. So yeah. yeah, and we'll see you in two weeks and we'll be at my house. Yay, I think. We think, well, maybe. Maybe well, not. So maybe she here come again. May 11th to there. And then they've got to come the following weekend. because For a wedding. Brothers getting married. So yeah, so. We'll see what we do. Yes. But anyway. But thank okay, you guys so much for, for watching. And we'll see you next time. We love you all. Bye. Bye, guys.